Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. I want to share a quick, easy recipe that is kid friendly for sure, especially if your kid likes to bake and if your kid likes to eat sweets. And what better time going back to school to have a little something surprise for them. It is the Mac Daddy's three step cookie. Mac Daddy's three, two, one cookies. Anyway, quick and easy. Start with the cake mix. And I actually chose a dark chocolate brownie mix that was on sale at the grocery store. And I have vanilla ice cream that I made and it's in the churn here. I'm gonna turn that off in just a minute. I'll speak up. Um, I'm gonna put that in the fridge or in the fridge or in the freezer. And I'm gonna use the vanilla bean ice cream to stuff my chocolate cookies. But here's how you do the chocolate cookie part. Okay, we're gonna use two, two cake mixes. Like I said, I'm using brownie, but you can use cake. I've got a double chocolate and a dark chocolate. That's what I'm gonna use for mine. You're gonna need three eggs, and you're gonna need, let's see, a uh, half a cup of powdered sugar, because you're gonna roll the balls in that once you make the balls with the cookie. And then you're gonna need Cool Whip or something to sandwich in between it if you wanna do a peanut butter mixture or Cool Whip with topping, or I'm gonna use ice cream, put mine in the freezer for a nice sweet treat. I'm also gonna add to mine a little bit of vanilla bean paste, but you don't have to, okay? So three ingredients are the two boxes of cake mix. Your choice, you can use any flavor you want. Three eggs, which I'm gonna crack these and put them right on in. Just show y'all how quick and easy this is. My oven is on 350, and they bake for eight to 10 minutes. Easy. And these are, like I say, this is a recipe that you can let the grandchildren get involved or the child get involved if you want to. Or you can make it just for a sweet treat. Anyway, back daddy. Three, two, one, cookies. Here we go. Three eggs. I've got double yolked eggs, but that's okay. If you don't have double yolked eggs, I just happen to have some that a local farmer shared with us that had double yolked eggs. Two cake mixes. Mine's brownie. That is not going to matter. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to add just a judge or a drizzle of the vanilla bean paste. I just opened this, and I'm just going to stir it to make sure all of those delicious vanilla beans are at the top when I drizzle it. About a teaspoon. Just think it'll give it a little extra something. Okay, let's give this a stir, slow and steady. We'll double check my recipe with this sweet little angel on here. Two boxes of cake mix, any flavor. Three eggs. You're gonna need a Cool Whip or something to put in the middle of it. You don't have to sandwich them, you can eat them just like they are. Um, and a half a cup of powdered sugar to roll them in, okay? I'm gonna grab my powdered sugar while this is mixing. We'll just put some powdered sugar right here on this plate. Recipe says half a cup. I'm just gonna put out a little bit here. And I use Ghirardelli double chocolate and a dark chocolate. Totally up to you. I'm also gonna add, those box just fell. That's the keeping it real side. I'm gonna add just a teaspoon of salt to mine. I like to have a little salt with chocolate and sweet. get this off of the mixer. Now mine are probably gonna be a little more gooey because I had the double yoked eggs and that's okay. It won't matter. I'm gonna make it work. 
but what a fun little thing to do with that little one that you love. You know what I'm saying? And also to have that sweet, decadent <laughs> chocolate bite of goodness in the freezer, because I'm gonna freeze mine. I'm gonna make like little ice cream sandwiches out of mine. But this is definitely one of those recipes that you can just do so much with. So be creative with it. Okay, I'm gonna spray my cookie scooper, melon scooper, whatever that is that you call it, with a little bit of cooking spray. And let me move this and give myself some room to work here. Slowly but surely. And let me get my pan. I have lined a cookie sheet with parchment paper. And I'll have to put that homemade ice cream in the refrigerator, Frig refrigerator freezer, sorry. And then I'll just scoop some in it after these cookies cool. Anyway, okay, I get excited about chocolate, obviously. Back to the chocolate cookies here. I'm gonna just get a ball like this. I'm gonna drop mine into the sugar and I'm gonna toss that bad boy around. And then I'm gonna put these on the sheet, just like that. Mac Daddy is a professional at these, so I know, I know, I know, I know that you can do this with a child who wants to be in the kitchen with you. Because I've done them with him. He taught me how to do them. A lot of people on that watch the vlog ask me if the Mac Daddy is my grandbaby. And although I would claim him, he and Carter are actually friends of ours, children. The mom and the dad both taught my boys in high school. So I always thank their grandparents for sharing them with me. Yep, and their parents. So I'm gonna do that repetitively until I get my cookie sheet full. You could do one box of strawberry cake and one box of lemon cake and have a really good combination. Just a suggestion. Oh, what am I doing? I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm excited about chocolate, okay? Because I'm gonna have me one of these with a cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. They'd be good with a cup of milk. How do y'all like to eat your chocolate? When this video posts, Tell us how you like to eat your chocolate or fix something chocolate when you've got that sweet tooth that is just shouting, I need something. Need something. Uh, the Mac Daddy's grandmother also told me that when they do these together, that she'll freeze these cookies. So I know that they can be frozen and that they freeze well after you baked them. So I try to give y'all the tidbits that I actually know that are successful. My oven is ready. And what I'm gonna do with mine is I'm gonna fork mine down because I want mine to be flat on the flat side because I'm gonna use mine as an ice cream sandwich. So let me show y'all what that looks like when I get my pan full. And then when I post this video, I'll have some pictures that post at the beginning that'll show you what I ended up making with it. And then I'll post some in comments as well. Mm. Mm. That dark chocolate and that other chocolate together. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. You know, the other thing I thought about these when I thought about making them was, you know, if you have want that something sweet, you could even use sugar-free cake. And you know, it wouldn't be as fat and you'd have that one little bite because these don't bake up to about out that big. You'll see that when I post a picture. But let me show y'all how I'm gonna fork mine down. But you can do whatever you want to with this. You could also take this very same recipe and press it down into the bottom of a 13 by nine inch pan and bake it like that. Yes, you could. And then you could cut it in squares you could put peppermint topping on it or mix some peppermint extract in your in your little scoop of ice cream. 
the, listen, this one, this is one of those recipes that's limitless as to what you can do. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do with mine. Let me grab a clean fork. I'm going to just run mine through this powdered sugar. And I'm going to fork mine down like that. could do any flavor you wouldn't you could buy your ready-made dough like cookie dough do the exact same thing and make you a little ice cream sandwich or a sandwich with cream cheese icing in between it whatever icing you like you could buy store-bought icing or you could buy just whip topping and put that in there put them in the refrigerator for a nice cool little snack what would be your favorite flavor Post us an answer for that. These are going into an eight to 10, for eight to 10 minutes in a 350 degree oven. I'll show you a picture when they come out. Can't wait. Mac Daddy's one, two, three cookies. See y'all.